What's up guys, Coach here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. So if you're ever in the area, come check out the gym. We're gonna get right into how to activate the lats with the bench press. So a lot of times people think, oh, the bench press is just chest, maybe a little bit of shoulders and triceps. However, if you are going for maximal load and you are trying to really increase that bench press or maybe you compete in powerlifting, the lats are vital in your setup and just being as efficient as possible with the bench press. So let's go over just a couple of cues and tips that have really helped me establish uh, the lats involved with the bench press. So right off the bat, when it comes to the lats, I think a lot of this stems actually from proper grip on the bar from the beginning. So when you're about to unrack this barbell, you need to make sure that you are crushing the bar as much as possible and having a nice firm grip. Reason being is we can activate the grip, right? That's gonna travel down to the elbow, okay, shoulders, lats, and just keep you more stable and supported uh, with your upper back into the bench. So I wanna go over just a quick cue, and I'm gonna use a PVC pipe to demonstrate that because obviously I can't bend the barbell with my hands, although I wish I could. <laughs> One day maybe I'll get there. What I'm trying to do is basically when I have that bar, okay, I have that firm grip, and I'm thinking about really activating my pinkies in a sense, right? So then I'm bending the bar this way, okay? And we're trying to just really drive down with those pinkies. And if we can do that, we can get a lot more lat activation uh, on the bench with our back supported into that bench. So grip that bar super tight from the beginning. And then from there, we're trying to develop downward tension with the pinkies to really activate the lats. Another quick tip that I often see people doing is when they are unracking the bar from the rack, Okay, they're pressing the bar straight up and then taking the bar out. What we want to do is develop lat tension from the start. So as we're taking the bar off of the rack, we're basically pushing it forward and off using the lat. So it's almost mimicking like a, a straight arm uh, pull down movement. Okay, as if you were to get a, a pull down bar or something to do with a cable stack, right? We're using those straight arms and we're driving that weight down. The same thing's gonna happen here with the barbell as we unrack it. So I'll show you real quick what I see people doing is they just get set right here. They press the bar straight up and bring it out at the same time. What we wanna do is we wanna get that proper grip, squeeze the bar, and then from there, build the tension up with our upper back pinned into the bench. Okay, we can typically have an arch here which is just driving those shoulders and scapula into the bench. From here, what I'm doing is almost pushing the bar off this way using the lats to get it into the set and clear position. So I'm here, okay, press it up and off, right into that position, keeping the lats tacked in tight. My upper back didn't move at all. From there, we can go to the descent, and then we can drive straight back and pop, okay? So, Really focus on how you're unracking the bar, utilizing the lats and upper back as much as possible because all that tightness and stability really matters, okay? So when we're doing that, really think about wedging those shoulders back and down into the bench and we don't want that position to change on the unrack. So typically you'll see people, right, who are set as they push it forward and drive it forward, we've now just unlocked all the musculature in the back, and it's not gonna utilize the lats as much as possible in that upper back when we're going for our bench press. All right guys, so one thing I wanna cover that I just kinda of mentioned before is gonna be the arch for the bench press, okay? So what, why we arch is one, because it's gonna be more efficient for maximal load. Uh, it's gonna help decrease the range of motion a bit so we can move heavier weight for a shorter distance. It's gonna create a lot of stability and tension in our setup, and it's just gonna be more efficient overall, like I said, for just moving as much weight as possible. So I've covered this more in depth with other videos, which I can link above for a playlist here for you to dive into. But really quick, kind of as we're getting into that setup, a lot of people ask whether they should be on their toes or whether they should be flat-footed. That's totally a personal preference. What I'm looking for is having as much point of contact on the ground and keeping that tension throughout those points of contact the entire time that we're doing the bench press, okay? So if you find that you feel you can do it more with flat feet, keep that, if you feel like you're in your toes more and you can do that, that's up to you, okay? Play around with both. Uh, for me personally, I tend to be more of a flat-footed bench presser. I started off by doing it in my toes and then I transferred over because I just felt more comfortable uh, with having my whole foot on the ground. And for me, in my mind, I just kind of justify it as I have more surface area with my whole foot on the ground than just uh, point of contact at the toes. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, it's just anecdotally what works best for me. So, as we're getting set, typically what I like to do is get my grip established first, all right? Then I'm gonna push myself down, 
right? Create that arch, my hips leverage up, then I get my feet set, okay, my butt does stay on the ground, and I'm having an arch, almost like a rainbow position, where there is a space underneath my lower back, and that tension is pushing into my shoulders, driving my shoulders down and into this bench. I also have my head down, so that's a point of contact, which I've talked about in other videos. So I'm set here, and okay, once again, I use my arms to wedge myself down, then I press through my hips to drive and get that arch. My grip is established, and okay, we're gonna use the lats to then take it off of the rack, not pressing straight up and then out, keeping that lat tension, squeezing my butt, my legs, pushing my feet into the floor, shoulders are, are just totally smashed into that bench. From there, control the eccentric, then explode up. Okay, so we're coming down right about the sternum, right, and then we're pressing straight back up. So the bar fat is slightly curved, so we bring it down, drive back, okay, then we can rack. So if you're somebody who doesn't arch and you're trying to move in maximal load, I highly recommend you guys try it. If you're training more for hypertrophy, I don't necessarily think it matters as much, and you can find other points I talk about in other videos, but this main point is just trying to establish those tight lats throughout the arch and in the setup. Okay, so hopefully that helps with how to activate the lats better when doing the bench press. I think the upper back and lats are crucial when it comes to the bench press, especially for moving as much weight as possible. This was a question submitted to me on my Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, please do. I put a lot of short form content on there, show you guys my lifts, uh, and then just give you guys as many tips as possible and answer these questions that get submitted through the Instagram. The other thing we have is a Discord channel, guys. I think that is the best platform for establishing and building a community. Not only do we talk about training, nutrition, all that kind of stuff, but we also just want to become better people. So I have uh, discussions on mental health. I have stuff going on with the world and media, video games, all that stuff, just to really make it a well-rounded group for people who want to get better in the gym and also outside the gym. All right, last plug is gonna be the app. I have the Zat Strength Programming app. Link is down below, 21 programs as of right now, which are specific to lifts, all the way to general strength and conditioning, to uh, just strength training, bodybuilding, hypertrophy stuff. Check it out, it's a, it's a very small fee for the amount of knowledge and program creation that you're getting with a ton of awesome added features. So really would love for you guys to join that. If that's not your thing, we have a la carte programs on the website. You just pick that program, buy it one time, get to utilize it and use it. Uh, and then I'll put the playlist above here for all things that are gonna be bench press related, uh, technical tips. So I'd go through if you have time, check those out. And of course, always ask questions down below. That's all I have guys. Please like, subscribe to the video. And as always, stay lean, mean strength machine guys. Catch up with you guys next time. Peace. Oh, yeah.